That's right. Welcome in. Welcome back, folks, to a MFBD Michigan football brain disorder edition of the Always Irish Show. As always, you can find the program on YouTube. Do it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Appreciate it very much. Give the video a thumbs up if you approve of the content. Appreciate that as well. Hit notifications. You'll be alerted every time a new episode drops. You don't want to miss anything, right? Twitter, search bar, Always Irish, or at Always Irish Inc. Emails, Always Irish at gmail.com. Audio only. Anywhere you want me, you can find me. Call in line 312 900 Hello, everyone. Welcome in, fellow Notre Dame fans. Most of my followers tend to be, perhaps, maybe, this cover entitled drew in some other fans. Maybe some, uh, some Big Ten team fans. Hopefully, some Michigan fans are here for this. Follow me here. You know me. Many of you know me from here. A lot of you know me from here and on Twitter especially on Twitter. I love a good college football debate. I really do. There's nothing better than arguing about football. It's so much healthier for any of us than arguing about politics and religion and everything else, okay? But I'm running into a problem. It's becoming harder and harder to find logical people to debate with. There's nothing better for the mind, the football mind, than having a well-intentioned, genuine, well-thought-out football argument and debate. I wish I could have that with more of these Michigan people. It'd be a lot more fun if I could actually have a reasonable debate. But I'm having a hard time finding it with all these interactions. The worst part is some of this isn't even like random fans with an egg for a logo on Twitter with no avatar. And it's like, you know, Joe7476 with one follower. No, I'm running into these philosophical argument roadblocks with actual writers and bloggers and people who just they're more connected and more have more of a following than just on social media. Bloggers, people writing for Michigan websites, that kind of thing. I've had the following come up nonstop multiple times all offseason, nonstop with these people. They keep holding on to 2019 at the big house. And I get it every time I say something about Michigan. Oh, 2019. Yeah, well... You know, why isn't your recruiting good? Is it because your coach doesn't want to be there and tried to leave but failed at it? 2019, what happened in 2019? All right, you finally got over the hump and won the Big Ten and got killed in the playoff and you had no elite recruiting momentum from it. What did you really gain? 2019. I, I, I don't understand what a random arbitrary game score from a few years ago when we had a different coach, is that big of a flex to any argument about what's going on right now? It's totally illogical that no matter what you say about now, if it's a a recruiting debate going on about recruiting now that's going to impact future outcomes, what does that have to do with 2019? There's no connection. They're not related. But I hear it every single day. It doesn't matter what you say. Hey, why is it that you guys have been recruiting Dante Moore since seventh grade and he has no interest in staying in the state, 2019? Why is it that you can't land your old coach's grandson who grew up in the shadow of Michigan State, 2019? Like, it's a total catch-all deflection across the board. And it's... It's intellectually defunct, and I just don't understand it. It's not an argument or an answer to anything about what's going on now. It's just a big deflection, and it's just weak. There's no thought there. It's just a cheap band-aid because you don't have a real answer to the tough questions I'm asking you. That's what's going on here. 
And the next part of this, that's not even the worst part. It gets worse. That's not even the worst part intellectually, philosophically. Not even the worst. The next thing this turns into is, you know, I'll bring up, well, what does 2019 have to do with now? Oh, all you guys are doing is bragging about being summer recruiting champions. That's always the next thing. The first thing is, oh, yeah, what happened in 2019? The next thing is, all, all you ever win or all you're talking about is bragging about, you know, recruiting this summer, right? 2019, to these people, to these people, somehow, what happened in 2019 with a different coach and us being happy about the elite recruiting efforts of the new coach are now somehow linked to these people. It makes no sense. It, this is where that Michigan football brain syndrome kicks in. What does the 2019 game result have to do with recruiting now with a brand new head coach? No, none of us were bragging about recruiting in 2019 because Brian Kelly wasn't good enough at it at Notre Dame for us to brag about that. So one response from these people is always 2019. And then the next thing is, why don't you win nothing and brag about recruiting more? They're not related. They're not related. Quit linking those things. None, none of us were bragging about Brian Kelly recruiting. It wasn't good enough. This argument is completely flawed logically. Win something that matters, then come talk to me. I hear that every day. When Michigan people saying, win something that matters and then come talk to me. Well, now, wait a second. Let's define matters here. I think that's kind of important. I hear that every day. And I didn't hear it a few years ago, but I'm hearing it now. So when I hear from the Michigan people, win something that matters, then come talk to me. Are they talking about the Big Ten title? Is that what they're referring to as mattering? To whom exactly does that matter? Ask yourself that, okay? So they won the Big Ten and were promptly rewarded with a blow blowout embarrassing playoff loss. Hey, I can relate to that too and more often than Michigan, but I'm not bragging about it. That's the difference. They are, okay? So what you said mattered so much, winning the Big Ten, resulted in an embarrassing playoff performance and also no recruiting benefit on an elite upside at all. They did not receive any bump from winning the Big Ten that helped their recruiting accelerate and do better than all that. No, they got none of that. None of that. Okay, recruiting Dante since seventh grade left state. Okay, head coach's grandson, not interested, Notre Dame, right? So who exactly, when you say win something that matters, who does it matter to? It seems to me the only people that really care about that Big Ten title is the Michigan fans and the Michigan media. I'll tell you who isn't impressed, the elite of the elite recruits that are all going other places. Now, Michigan's recruiting class is going to raise and end up being okay because Michigan, Michigan could sell itself to a large extent. But no one is saying that it's an elite operation right now going to have an elite class. No one's saying that. With who they have in the fold and who they have a realistic shot at, no one's going to say that. So when you talk about win something that matters, that Big Ten title means a lot to you and a lot to the beat writers but who it should matter to, it's not. You have blown a great opportunity to capitalize because Harbaugh is a weirdo, you know? So when you talk about that mattering, and I think if I'm a Michigan fan and, and I won the Big Ten, what's the biggest thing I want to gain out of that? A championship didn't happen. You got blown out in the playoff, so that benefits out. The only other benefit you could hope for is a boom in recruiting Flashing that Big Ten ring didn't happen. The elite of the elite are not interested in playing there. Okay? So you want that to matter 
but the guys it should matter to, it's not mattering to. So you could flash and be swaggy about it as a fan all you want, but you're not getting better talent because of it. You didn't win a title because of it. So what did you really gain? Practically. Practically. Now, as for Michigan moving forward, everybody knows their schedule. They honestly do not play a real program till October. If I'm being nice, early October. If I'm being difficult, mid-October, based on who those teams are. Okay, they Michigan is in Brian Kelly mode. So they're going to be overinflated by the week schedule, especially early. Don't play anybody till mid-October. So they're going to be hyped up by ESPN and the whole machine, the media machine, all that. They're going to be overinflated all year because of that. Here's what Michigan has turned into. This is the funniest part of this whole discussion. They're a Brian Kelly team now. That's what Michigan's turning into. Brian Kelly, Notre Dame teams. They're going to do just enough to get everybody's hope up. They have enough talent that they're going to beat most of the teams they should beat in the Big Ten. But they're not elite, and they're never going to win a title because of it. So, I, I, you know, their recruiting class, a couple guys committed, and then the the... Recruiting services bump up their ratings, generate that smoke with the Michigan crowd. I get it, but nobody's telling me that class is going to be elite. So you're not getting that big boom from that ring of winning the Big Ten. But that's what Michigan is now. They are firmly in Notre Dame, Brian Kelly land. They're going to win 9, 10, even maybe 11 games a year most of the time. Everybody in that fan base is going to be excited in a lather, not elite. They're just not blown out in the playoff. The recruiting classes aren't elite. That's going to start showing in the next couple years. They are firmly stuck in Brian Kelly, Notre Dame land. Really, really good. Get everybody excited, but they're not getting over the hump. So I'm fine to let them run that treadmill to nowhere for the rest of time. That's totally fine. Okay. But the Michigan football brain syndrome to where they think a 2019 game score with the old coach has anything to do with today's recruiting that's going to affect games played in the future. That is pure brain dysfunction, like totally illogical, not connected at all. And then philosophically, really ask yourselves, Michigan fans, when something that matters, you all say to me, I just ask, who does that Big Ten title matter most to? It isn't who it should. That's a huge red flag for you, okay? So currently, I got to tell you, there's only one cure for MFBD, and it's sound logic. Look into it. 